talks, even though this meeting got postponed, two out of the three commissioners stayed here in the room for more than three hours talking to all of the people who showed up and wanted to have their voices heard. We asked them why did they stay? We asked them what is the issue that they are so passionate about? It all stems back to the governor's mask mandate for K through 12 schools. Instead of voting on that, the meeting started off with a different vote. This is the exact opposite of what we need to be doing. We are supposed to be physically distancing, wearing masks, and so. The Utah County Commissioner's meeting only lasted about three minutes when they saw people packed into the room like sardines. Two out of three voted quickly to reschedule due to health concerns. I'm pretty disappointed, honestly, in, in, in some of the people in our county today. We could have proceeded, but we didn't. Commissioner Bill Lee said he wanted the meeting to go on after making changes to socially distance. I think he's still in there having some sort of a political rally. Instead, he sat with Commissioner Nathan Ivey for hours, listening to people's concerns about the governor's mask mandate in K-12 through schools. Do I have a problem being told that I have to do anything, especially to protect somebody else? I think it's part of the New World Order Agenda 2021. Before the meeting, Commissioner Lee met with people gathering outside. He said he would have voted today to write a letter to the governor asking for an exception to the K-12 through mask mandate in Utah County and that he understands people who might be pro-mask probably felt uncomfortable going into a packed room. If we teach our kids in Utah County that they're exempt, then they're just teaching them more privilege, and that is a very fine line and a scary thing to do. I've actually had the opportunity to speak with the governor's office and they have confirmed to me that it's dead on arrival. The way that we're mitigating that right now until we have a vaccine is to wear a damn mask. One of the people we saw out here was so upset that the meeting got postponed that somebody had to call an ambulance because she needed medical attention. So far, they have not set a new date or new location for the next meeting. Some people have recommended the Utah Valley Convention Center, which will give people more room to spread out. We're live in Provo tonight. Adam Herpetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.